Where do new infections come from? New infections for people. They nearly always come from animals. That's where the flu comes from. HIV came from a chimpanzee. We think Ebola is hiding in some kind of fruit-eating bats. And the reason is that in remote areas, the main source of food are wild animals. Hundreds of thousands of people live and the back of their yard, to say so, is a forest and so full of animals. The interaction between people and wild animals is, I think, becoming more and more intense. As the cities are moving where there used to be forest, population pressure is increasing and animals are being hunted more and more. C'est nouveau, ça? What is it? Gandhi? It's like a gazelle, no? Antilope, antilope rouge. Ah, antilope rouge. But the critical moment is when that virus jumps from that animal to humans, and that can be when the one who is preparing the meat cuts themselves and is infected. C'est quoi? Ah, ça c'est le cochon, hein? Yeah, c'est le cochon. Oui, 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 oui. That's when it must transmit the virus. C'est le singe, hein? Oui. Oui, on va. Par les mains des singes, hein? Oui. Voilà. Okay. And so you have this intense interaction between animals, some of which will be chronically infected by a certain virus, and then at some point they cross the barrier between species. And it probably happens regularly, over and over again, and God knows what new viruses will, uh, will pop up.